Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I want to do another POV style street photography video. This time, I'm shooting with a Nikon D50. I found this camera really cheap. It's selling for just the price of few cups of coffee. I can't wait to see what this dinosaur can do. So let's do this. Fun fact, I've never owned a Nikon camera before. This is my first Nikon. I think it's really interesting to start right from the beginning. The Nikon D50 was one of the earlier DSLRs. It only has 60 megapixels, not something that a lot of people are excited about. But I'm really curious to see what this combination can do. I'm pairing it with the 50mm f1.8. Not the best time for street photography, it is sometime in the afternoon, but I don't care. To be entirely honest, I have no specific agenda for today. I'm just out here shooting at random things, whatever that attracts my attention. I just want to have a feel of how this D50 performs. So far, first impression, the camera is really well built. It's built like a tank and it handles very well. It felt very comfortable in my hands. Autofocus is fast, of course. This is under bright sunlight. There's no issue there, but I have no issue with it whatsoever. I will have to go home, look at the images that I got with this camera and see if six megapixels is enough. We'll see. If I remember correctly, the Nikon D50 was launched in the year 2005. I was still a university student studying engineering in Australia. I couldn't afford a DSLR back then, it was quite pricey. I had a Kodak point and shoot budget camera and I had a lot of fun with that compact camera. My friends who were already working at that time, some of them have DSLRs. I remember one of them had a Nikon D50 and the images he got from it, oh my goodness, they were so impressive. I was so jealous. Now, 17 years later, in the year 2022, I can afford my own DSLR. I know there are a lot of better cameras out there, but I just couldn't help but wonder what if I owned this D50 before? I'm just reliving the nostalgia that I never had. I have no idea whether my shots are in focus or not. I couldn't check them properly on the LCD screen of the Nikon D50. It is so low in resolution. I can only really see them later when I get home, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just shoot as many shots as I can while I'm out here, while the light is still good. Thank you. 
thank you. I have been walking for about two hours. I think it's time to sit down, relax, and have some coffee. So far, the shooting experience with the Nikon D50 in this short shutter therapy adventure has been very positive. The viewfinder was very comfortable to look through, the camera handling was really good, autofocus was fast, camera was, was really responsive, I don't see any issue. The camera was easy to work with, all the buttons and dials, the placement, they were logical and all the important settings are easy to find. This is what I've always been trying to tell people that all cameras are good cameras. If the camera was great 10, 15, 20 years ago, it is still a great camera today. And you don't have to break the bank to enjoy photography. Well, even if it's just six megapixels, who cares? It is still a great camera and six megapixels is still plenty. That's all I have to share about this Nikon D50 adventure. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my photographs and I hope you agree with me that you don't need the latest and greatest to enjoy photography. I hope that I've inspired you to pick up your camera, whatever camera that you have, and just go out there and take some photographs. Please consider buying me a cup of coffee if you have enjoyed watching this content. Please support me. You can also contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will definitely help me to continue making similar content and publish them right here. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe and I'll definitely see you again in the next one. Until then, stay safe, go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.